Hey everyone, this is Brie with a tutorial on how to get your PSP to send the downloadable files to your Tamagotchi ID. Now the first step that you want to do is to download a program simply called PSP IRDA. Um, I'll have a link to where to download that in the description. So you'll see here I've already downloaded it. So what you want to do is open up that folder and then you'll see this folder here. Then you'll have these three folders, the PSP, IRDA, same thing with the percent, and then the sources. I'm going to select all three of these folders and copy. Then you want to go over here. I have opened up my PSP, which is hooked up through uh, the USB cord. So you want to open up the PSP folder, go to Game, and then just paste right click and paste items into this folder, mine are already in here but you just want to paste all three of those right into the game folder. Then the next thing you want to do, which I have already done, is have a file ready. So right here I've got the new rainbow living room. So you want to go back, go into your photo folder and see I've pasted that here. So now I have my PSP ejected and turned off. Um, you will need a custom firmware hacked PSP to be able to do this. Mine is currently the 5.00 M33-6 custom firmware. Um, luckily you don't need a Pandora battery anymore to do it on the PSP FATS because since you know these they're the only ones that have have the handy dandy IR port. So luckily you can just use the Chick Hen H2 exploit and uh, don't need a special battery anymore. So what we're going to do is boot it in recovery mode, which you hold down your right bumper, which it's hard to do this one-handed, and then turn it on, holding the right bumper down until, yeah, until the recovery mode shows up. Then we're going to go down to configuration, and then go down to game folder homebrew, says it's currently set to the 5.xx kernel. Well, this software needs the 1.50 kernel, so we're going to select that, and then you see it change to 1.50. So we're going to go back and exit, and this will reboot the PSP system in the 1.5 kernel. Okay. Now under game, you just want to go down to your memory stick and don't worry about the corrupted data, that's the two folders that you have on there from uh, the two extra folders you need to run the software. You just want to go down to that PSP IRDA that's got a graphic and select that. Yeah, shouldn't take too long to come up. And then you'll see instructions on here. Squares to receive a file, crosses to send a file, and triangles to exit the program. So of course we want to send a file, so we want to hit the X. Then we go left or right to choose the next or the previous file or directories. Um, the X is to select that file or the directory. And the triangle is to abort to exit the system. So what we want to do is we want to hit left until we get to the PSP folder just like we did on the computer. Okay, Go ahead and select that. Then hit left until I get to the photo folder. Hit that. Then select over until I see the file that I want, which is that one. Now you want to go to your Tamagotchi ID. Go to the fourth option. Now you want to sit here and line up your infrared port on each system. Let's go ahead and select on here. Whoops, I hit the wrong one. Okay, let's line these back up. I'm going to go ahead and hit, make sure these are lined up. Select on that and X to send on here. Hopefully, I've lined these up. I just heard sometimes they're kind of sensitive.
And there you see, whoops, it has sent. So now we can go over and see if our little rainbow living room has shown up. Let's see, we'll hit the living room. And there it is. The rainbow living room that we sent from the PSP to the Tamagotchi ID. Yay! And then the only other thing that you need to do is hit the triangle to exit the program. And it'll take you back out to the PSP menu. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.